Hi everyone, this is Ryan and today's topic I'm going to be talking about how much capital should you risk in Forex? Right. Now, um, I, I'm not an expert in money management, right? But I always believe that there are two types of money, right? Or, you know, in, in my savings, uh, in my savings, I categorize my savings into two types of money. One is the investment money and the second one is the play money, right? So play money means that I can afford to lose this money and that money should, and that money, right? That amount should be the amount of capital that you can risk trading forex right or in or even in any forms of investment right uh, especially if it's a new investment and you would just like to give it a try at the beginning right now i think when you want to try something new you should not try with a large sum of money right you should not be trying with ten thousand fifty thousand hundred thousand dollars right you want to try with a small amount uh, the, the money that you can afford to lose, which I call the play money, right? So it could be $500, $1,000, you know, money that you can afford to lose. And uh, by losing this money, uh, sorry, after losing this money, you know, your life will still be able to continue on as per normal. You wouldn't have to skip any meals, you know, you wouldn't have to give up any anything, you know, because you lose this money, all right? So investment money, number one, so this uh, investment money is this this sum of money is something that you want to put in very very safe and reliable investments right because you don't want to lose that money and the second type of money the play money you can afford to lose it right that's why it's called play money all right so you can afford to lose this money and you want to use this money when you are trying something new so if forex trading is something new to you you know just put a small amount as a cap risk a small amount as your trading capital and then start Playing with it and see if uh, you know if, if it's suitable for you. If forex trading is suitable for you, if it's not, then it's fine. You know you have just lost your play money, no big issue, right? You don't want to be losing your big investment capital trying something new. All right. Okay. So that's all for today's topic. I hope you gained some knowledge. And if you like my videos, then please uh, you know like my Facebook page or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right. I do these videos every day and uh, you know so i'll see you in the next video bye bye